this is Jacob House with Western Window Systems at Junction Station and Mountain View Window and Door in Grand Junction, Colorado. I just opened up our newest performance line 7650 sliding patio door. Uh, if you're familiar with Western Window Systems and our 600 series sliding patio door, this is an exact replication with some few changes that we've made to tailor to our colder climates uh, and energy codes that are tightening down in many areas across the country. So we've got a .30 U value and a DP50 rating on this sliding patio door, something you're probably very similar, uh, familiar with and similar to our 600 series, but I guess it provides better energy values and structural ratings. Uh, Kevin, if you want to take a look here, we've got a thicker thermal brake to provide that better structure, better energy ratings. But if we can also see too, we've got slimmer profiles that, are only, that have only grown just over a half an inch. that style, the piece that goes up and down, is very minimal with that great performance. Correct. So you're only going from our classic line of products of a 2.55 inch interlock to a 2.92 interlock. So we're only growing uh, just slightly, but also gaining a ton of energy efficiency and a lot of structural uh, integrity. And so for the video shoot, we left a few of the things exposed to talk through kind of the walls and details of mm -hmm. how does your door come and, and in this instance is a finished conference room that you have drywall on both sides. Correct. But can you kind of talk through some typical details of how this would work yeah. and then we can go around and also you'll see on the pocketing right. multi-slide multi -slide video. Yes, yeah, so you guys could get this in a number of different ways and really there's really three options that you would have is an equal leg or a blocked frame, uh, different nomenclature used that we would actually see here that we're going to go through the frame to install this into our finished return. Uh, you can also get this with a nailing fin application that most contractors, builders, installers are familiar with. Yeah, and let's go around and talk about nailing fin that we left it exposed up top. So I'm going to put the camera up there and you can mm -hmm. just talk about the nailing fan. So for ease of install, and actually this is also a huge component of weather and, uh, and sealant, uh, just aid really that you get from a nailing fan to be able to put this flush up against your exterior wall to provide again an ease of install and setting a, a picture window, an operating window, or even a door frame into an opening uh, and really getting this a flush tight seal uh, to your exterior wall. An equal leg will do the same thing, it allows for a little bit more adjustment uh, but you don't have that exterior perimeter wrapping uh, around that opening. So just some different options in the construction field. Not everything's perfect, so we want to be able to adjust and mold with you depending on the opening you have and the type of construction that you're working on. Cool, so in closure, what's the uh, model number of this door one more time? Of This, this is an OX from the... From the outside looking in, you're going to have an OX operation. This is a performance line 7650 sliding patio door. Awesome. All the details of how it marries into the structure, they have all the options and the energy and the ceiling and all that stuff. That's what the trust advisors at Mountain View Window and Door, if you're in Colorado, are ready to help you with. And inside of Junction Station, how cool for Mountain View Window and Door and Western Window Systems to have Schoolology where we can come in and educate and learn together. Absolutely. Pretty neat setup, huh? Very cool. Thanks for your support, Western and Jacob. All right.